that I do way past cool. It's good, YouTube. It's your boy Whittlefoot. Outside. It's snowing out here. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm trying to figure out how to hold this bit. Like this. I'm outside, y'all. I know I gotta get my fucking two fixed, bro. That shit's starting to look crazy, but yeah, man. We're in rising to y'all. Happy Saturday. Uh, we just outside. You feel me? It's snowing. No lie, but I want to make this video to address. Um, Siri said I had to do this message. Okay. This is based on the star seeds. And um, there is a di there's a bunch of other origins that star seeds hail from. You know, you got the Pleiadians, you got the Lyran, you got the Syrian. I'm gonna bust my eyes. You got the um, and a bunch of others. Oh shit! But looking back, like um. Because there are interdimensional beings that are helping us. Because, right, look, let me just tell y'all. People might not like this. But the whole religion, God thing, it's, it's, it's not necessarily true. I mean, yes, there's a most high. Yes, there's a higher power. But the whole religion method of, like, how it's structured, it's not it. It's more like cosmos. It's like aircrafts. And you ever seen... You ever seen that movie, The Fifth Element? It's kind of like that. Kind of, sort of like that. Where there's a bunch of people from different galaxies and stuff like that. That emb em they embark on this one area where, you know, they can all, like, coexist, basically. You right? So that's what it's like. The whole religion thing is, is a ploy. Because there's there's beings that um exist. I'm gonna get back to it. I'm about to go in the house for a while, but stay tuned, y'all. I'll be right back. Back. Um, like I was saying, um, there's a bunch of like um interdimensional beings, bro, that live amongst us, and. Some of them actually helping the human species, like the human race. Like, it's like people, like, it's like, because I be having dream states, yo. And, like, in my dream states, I be traveling, like, like, I'm going to tell you about this one dream that was mad vivid, hella vivid. I was, like, like, my, my higher, my high, like, the higher realms had asked me. Because I had like this dream where, all right, this is what happened. I was, I walked, it was like I was in this valley, and I walked to this steep mountaintop, right? And I sat there with my legs folded, like in meditation format, right? So while I'm there, and like the sky was like filled with nothing but stars, you feel me? So I'm sitting there with my eyes closed, meditating to the stars. So then I just started leaving. I started drifting, like drifting up. And I went into the, like into the, like into the, the like into the universe. Like I went into the, you know, like how the universe is portrayed, like the big dark sky and stuff like that. Like I was drifting into that. And, like, I didn't feel afraid or scared or nothing because you know how, like, 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 my, like, um, you ever seen a kaleidoscope where things is, like, moving, like, different things is, like, shifting? It was kind of like that, but not quite, where, like, basically, my higher realm was telling me, like, like, I basically, I went to this, 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 this uh, universe realm where I was, like, seeing things like a kaleidoscope. And then it was this big black hole and I was like drifting toward that and something like it's like a my like a conscious voice was telling me like are you okay with how you know are you okay with how your life is now to the point where <coughs> excuse me y'all it's like <coughs> excuse me again it's like the, the voice was like, are you okay? As I'm drifting toward this dark hole, it's like, this voice is asking me, are you okay with how life is right now? And would you be all right with leaving? And that's what made me think like, no, 
it's so much stuff that I have to do, so much stuff that I want to accomplish before I leave this realm, you know, leave this dimension. And that's when I started thinking, like, wow, I got a mission. Like, I really got a lot to do before I leave here. And there's like a, how can I, I'm just explaining it from how I seen it. Like, I come from like a, like a water type planet. Like, water, it's like, I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but my, my dreams take me there. It's like this, 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 it's like, uh, uh, it's like a, it's like, it's like kind of like water, but it's not. It's like these, these big high rises and people walking around, but they look humanoid, but they're not. You feel what I'm saying? And like, as I'm going through this place, I guess you can call it astro traveling. As I'm going through this place, I felt at home, you know, I felt like at home and I felt like I was around people that was just like me. And then I left from that realm. I left from that place and I came back into my room, my bed and I woke up. And that's how, like, I have that a lot, you know? And sometimes, like, I used to feel like I don't fit in this, in this, in this, um, in this dimension. Because there's so much stuff that happens that I don't, you know, agree with. But I kind of feel like I'm out of place a little bit. That's how I used to feel, like, I'm out of place. Like, like, what am I doing here? You know, because I'm so opposite from... The, uh, the things that go on. Oh yeah, there's one more star system too. There's a bunch of them, but um, there's the um, I'm trying to think of the name. I can't think of it right now. I can't think of it right now. I can't think of it. But when I left this 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 place, I came back here. That I'm kind of going off topic, but that was one of the dreams I had first. Where I was like traveling through different times, like I was seeing myself as a, like a, a blacksmith, like doing things with my hands. It's like I also seen where I was a man with a wife. I was walking out the house and I was looking out to the like. And it's crazy because it's really me looking through these people's eyes. You feel me? I don't know if it was me in the future, me in the past, if I was in somebody else's vision. I don't know, but. It was real, dog. Like it was so real. Like I, I invite. Like it's like I'm, I'm walking to my car. I'm walking out the house to my car, and I'm looking. I look to my right. My, my driveway is right there. You know, my driveway, is, my driveway and garage is right there. You know, it's one of them driveways where the car is parked in the driveway, and then you pull into the driveway or into the garage. It's one of those type of garages. So I'm walking out. You know, I got the keys for my wife. I guess that's who she was, cause I'm walking out this house. And I turn and I see a car parked in a tree. It's like a tree. It's like it's like a couple trees and it's a car parked. And I'm like I'm in front of somebody's house. And then I went from that. <laughs> excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. But um, I went from that to this yo. And this wild. But this is the other one I had. Um, I jumped from that one to I was in like an Egyptian time period. Honest to the Most High, yo. Right hand to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? I could die right now or. I could, I could be struck down right now if I'm lying. It's honest to God, yo. Like, I went to this other room where I was, like, in this Egyptian time where, you know how the women used to wear them things on their head, like a, like a headdress, if you will? It was like that time. I was, like, a little kid, and I don't I still don't understand what, that, what it meant to this day, but I was, like, a little kid, and my mother was some Egyptian woman with a headdress, and she was, like, trying to hide me. Like, she put me in this... All right, you know the things that um that that the cobras hide in, like when you know when um they got in like in like an Indian culture where they got these men that play the flutes and the flutes can have the cobras dancing and stuff and the cobras come out this come out that that like a uh, that thing whatever that thing is like a it's like a knitted basket, like she was hot, she she put me inside that like a knitted basket, and she covered me up and she took off, and to this day I don't understand why. But I'm starting to understand, like, maybe my purpose, like, maybe people was trying to find me my entire lifetime, you feel me? And maybe I, like, I don't know. Because, you know, the Akashic Records, right? So, that, it's like, I do this a lot. Like, when I'm dreaming in my dream state, I, I, I actually seen all my ancestors who, who helped me, well, who, who are the reason why I'm here, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's crazy because... It's like when I go to sleep, the dream, it's like, it don't even be dreams. It be like real vivid, like, 
events. Like I'm right here, like I'm talking to y'all right now, how I'm right here. This is how I be feeling, like I'm right there in the moment. And it's like, I can't even, it's like, I got to like, like close my eyes and do something to try to wake up from it, you know? Because my dream state is strong. You feel what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so then I had that dream and I had these other dreams too. AI, about AI, so about artificial intelligence. This is how that dream went. And it was so weird, bro. Like, this is how that dream went. I, 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 the dream went like this. I was in my house, right? And I heard a lot of, it was like a, like a big ass, like a riot and a war going on outside. So I came, so I came out my room, came downstairs. And instead of coming out the front door, I went out, I looked out the window. And I seen these big ass transformers, like these big ass transformers, y'all, like these big ass transformers and where I live at like adjacent to me is a building and like the transformer was standing at the building like just standing ready like this like just standing there so I, I look I'm look, looking out the window at it so I came out my back door and ran to my backyard and I look and I seen it really there it was dead big as hell like a big ass transformer I don't know why it was a transformer but this is just telling me like it's something wrong with artificial intelligence you feel what I'm saying so the big ass transformer with yo so like the big ass train. Word. Hold up, y'all. Yeah. I think I seen you walk with him too. Yeah. 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 I'm, to, I'm doing a little video and shit. Yeah. So it was good to you too. It's yeah. my boy right there. Yeah. You feel me? Word. Yeah. Um, I am about to do this shit. I'm about to go and roll up a blunt pipe. Chill. Yeah. Man, what you about to get into? Yeah, yeah. Alright, All right, bro. Stay up. Well, yeah, like I was saying, um, like I was saying, I went outside and I seen the Transformers and the Transformers was like basically some big ass machines. And like, as soon as I woke up from that shit, I started channeling. The channeling message was artificial intelligence is wrong. It's like, it's like the devil, bro. The devil is trying to mimic God by doing everything that he do. We got natural intelligence. You feel what I'm saying? That God gave us. A higher knowledge, our divine knowledge, our intuition, you know, our, our, our things like that, our gut instinct, stuff like that. That's something that the Most High gave us. Now, the enemy, aka the devil, right, he's trying to mimic that by making artificial intelligence so we don't rely on our own. You feel me? But I think from that dream, it was kind of saying that artificial intelligence is going, if we do rely on it that much, it's going to become a machine within itself. To where it could it could it could it could uh surpass how we understand things because you gotta understand or understand or overstand robots don't have emotion they don't have reason you feel what I'm saying they only have a motherboard and a digital program that they have installed in them so a robot wouldn't know all right this is too much and they don't they're not they're not human so they don't have the humanitarian the humanitarian um you know standards you feel me? Like, oh, this is not right. This is not, this is wrong. You feel me? Or oh, I'm going too far. No, they don't know that. So that, that dream, I meant to talk about that too, but that's why I'm saying artificial intelligence is not real, y'all. Don't rely on it. That's like basically them getting rid of encyclopedia. You feel me? Them getting rid of, getting rid of encyclopedia was a shot to your critical thinking, to your comprehension, like the critical thinking, um, reading comprehension, and stuff like that that's crucial to the to the developing mind you need to be able to challenge your mind and, and, and intrigue your mind and, and build on your mind muscles because your mind your mind is the best weapon you have and once they take your mind from you everything else follows <laughs> i'm sorry i excuse me, i'm not gonna say sorry i'm not a sorry ass person but i apologize my bad but hey i got mucus bro i'm not gonna lie to you guys cold out here whatever but you know i gotta drink me some tea but, um, yeah, like, yo, I'm telling y'all, like, the enemy is basically trying to mimic everything that the Most High has, you know? Like, like, for, like, for example, uh, people, you feel me? We, he, like, the Most High made people. So what's the enemy trying to do? Mimic that by making, like, robots that we rely on. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we got real organic people. But what the, mo what the enemy trying to do? Copy that by having, like, clones or replications or these reptilian, demonic clones that are inherited or inhabited by, excuse me, by 
these beings. And that's what the most the, that's what the enemy is trying to do, trying to mimic. Oh yeah, another thing, y'all. Stop celebrating these bullcrap holidays. If y'all know for a fact, Christmas, Easter, um, Halloween, all of this shit is not real. Why well, celebrate it? And especially if y'all are spiritual, if you're if you're if you're a spiritual practitioner like myself, or you're a spiritual, you're a spiritual individual, or just an ascended master, a star seed, you know, because I I'm, I'm on multiple hats. So if you're a star seed, ascended master, and you know better, come on now. Stop 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 perpetuating that that, that bull crap, bro. Like, sis, bro, it don't matter. Y'all know for a fact that these holidays are not real. You feel me? Y'all know this. So stop stop perpetuating the cycle to be, like if we are higher beings, then we know. We use our intuition and we know this much about the spiritual realm and, and dimensions and stuff like that. How can we be this knowledgeable and still turn around and, and sell ourselves short to celebrate these bullshit holidays that aren't even real? Come on, y'all. Come on. You feel me? Because I don't celebrate holidays. I don't. I mean, it make me it put me in, a, in an awkward position because I'm around people who do. And I don't want to knock nobody's thing. But at the end of the day, it's a lie. Because if you tell... if you. It's like this. The origin of these holidays are wrong. The, the origin of these holidays are not real. So you're basically teaching a lie, you feel me? And you're continuing the lie because it's not real. Now, if I could find it, I'll put the days, the holidays that we're supposed to celebrate. If, when I edit this, if I got to edit this, I really want to edit, but I'm going to edit it anyway so I could throw that in there. So if y'all see that on the screen, it should be somewhere on the screen. Um, the holidays we're supposed to celebrate that's in the Bible. And this is not even me trying to be on a Bible preachy thing or nothing like that. It's just saying, like, it's common sense. How are we supposed to be spiritual individuals on a higher vibration and we continuously vib vibing on this frequency where we know that these holidays aren't real? You feel me? We need to start teaching our kids the real holidays that we should be, you know, practicing. The Sabbath should be kept, kept, uh, should be kept, you feel me? Where, you know, you're not cooking, you're not teaching. You're not purchasing nothing on the, on Friday night into sun, into Saturday. You feel me? Keeping the Sabbath holy. You feel what I'm saying? It's just certain things you gotta do. Like you can't just be out here living worldly, and then trying to be spiritual. It don't make sense because that that it don't make sense because that is connecting. You still connected to the earthly realm. You're not even connecting with the Most High with the with your crown chakra. You feel what I'm saying? And the crown chakra gives you. That ancient knowledge, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's another uh, that that that's what I'm saying. Like, if y'all notice, I gotta start. You know, we gotta start. I I'm already don't do it, but it's like I put I would put myself. I'm just finish what I was saying. I am kind of scattered around with this, but whatever. It put me in a compromising position because I'm around people who do celebrate these holidays and I don't. So when I say I don't, it kind of makes it. It's like a Debbie Downer, or 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 um. What is it, Debbie Downer? What is the other one? Um, Dan Daniel. Daniel Downer, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, like when I say I don't celebrate these holidays, I don't want to be putting nobody down or whatever. So I just keep it to myself and don't celebrate it on my own. I don't gotta announce it. I just don't because that's what I don't do. So that's how I am. You feel me? I don't celebrate no holidays. I don't even celebrate my birthday, you know, because no one thinking about that. It's all pagan. You feel me? Lighting the candles. Um, it's all kind of like part of idol worship. You feel me? Cause you, you idolize on a day. You feel me? And that day is not the most important day. You feel me? Every day of your life is, is is a is a day is is your birthday. Is a day you was born. You feel me? A day that you wait you arose in. You feel me? Like a day that you gave like, like that you was given life. You feel me? Like this is the standpoint of how I'm viewing things because this is my POV. This is my opinion. This is my take on it. You know? Um. So that that being said, um, yeah, the AI intelligence is not good because I feel like they're gonna take over. They're gonna take over. So Spirit is telling me to talk about this. Like they're gonna take over to where we gonna we gonna like we gonna rely on them too much. Like how could you rely on artificial intelligence? Like it's fake information. We are the first computers. You have to go within yourself. Everything you need to know about life is within you. You this is cause cause you think about it, y'all. Cause we living in somebody else's reality. Like this is a false reality. You feel what I'm saying? You co-create your own reality. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta. You just coexist with other people because they just here at the same time as you. You feel what I'm saying? That's why you don't attach yourself to nobody really. You don't even attach yourself to days because every day is different. You feel what I'm saying? It's not the same mundane thing that we do every 
you know, like you do every day. Like it's something different you do every day. Every day is different. You feel me? It's like no, no one person is the same. No one person's heart beat the same. No one uh, snowflake is the same. I just wanted to say that. You know, it's like we all different, but we here to work together. You know, it's bigger than our color. You feel me? It's bigger than it's bigger than our color, y'all. Like it's bigger than that. It's bigger than you know what you what you believe in. It's none of that. Like none of, that's cool if you believe in what you believe in. At the end of the day, like no. No disrespect to that or whatever. It's like, but at the end of the day, you still a person. You still a person. That person next to you is a person too. It's all about humanitarian things. Like what's good for you is good for me. What's not good for you is not good for me. You feel what I'm saying? What's good for your family and stuff like that could possibly be good for the next family and stuff like that. You feel me? That's what it's about. It's about empathy. Understanding how another person would feel in the situation. That's what we're supposed to all be on that vibe. And I had to, like, I talked to my pops recently. He channeled to me. And he told me, like, I had to check some things about myself. Like, I had to check where I was, my energy was going, you know. I had to check how I was, what element, I, where I was at. Like, I was in, I was in the, uh, the warrior defense mode. And my pops was telling me, like, son, you don't have to be on warrior defense mode when you have a team of warriors ready to defend you. Get me? So, he said, just operate from love and understanding, if you will, or understanding, or operate from love. And 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 know that every person has their own purpose. Everybody has their own life path, life path. You know, everybody has their own journey in life. And some people fall short. Some people don't. You know, and it's like everybody handles things different. You feel me? That's what we all come and learn from each other. But the thing is, the powers that be want us all to be divided. You feel me? That's why we are powerful as a unit. You feel me? We're powerful when we're all together. Like. Like you're your energy by yourself, but when you're all of us together, we're a force. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so that's an energy to be forced with. That's like a force to be reckoned with, if you will. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm about to wrap it up because my fingers is getting cold, and uh, I'm about to go in the crib. But man, I hope this was knowledgeable for y'all. This is an informative video, um, channel message for y'all, man. And I'm really out here in the cold, my hands out, um, to give this message because sometimes when I go in the house and around other people's energy, the messages get blocked or get kind of like you know, get kind of messy, like muddy, you feel me? Because it's everybody else thinking that one time, and I told y'all, like, my abilities is real, so, like, I can hear other people's thoughts and stuff like that, you know? I pick, I pick up on their vibration, so it's good for me to get out and, um, you know, do it like this. So, anyway, that'll do it past cool. It's your boy, Woodlefoot, man, and um, um, I'm just signing out, man, so I'll holla at y'all. Peace.